Hello everyone, welcome back. If you are new, thank you so much for watching. Today we are going to be making sopes, which are a traditional Mexican dish. They are little um, tortilla patties essentially. They're like thicker tortillas. You make them out of a cornmeal mix that you can buy at really any grocery store or your local Mexican market. But we're actually going to start off with the really basic salsa that I made to top these with, which um, involves using a jalapeno and a serrano chile along with one to two tomatoes and like two cloves of garlic and a handful of cilantro. Now if you can't really do spicy or you don't like spicy, instead of using one jalapeno and one serrano, just use two jalapeno chilies because the other chili tends to be a lot spicier than jalapenos. Now what I'm doing here is I am roasting all of the salsa components. So what I did is I lined a tortilla warmer. You can also use just a flat pan or a skillet, um, but you're gonna lay down all of the tomatoes and the chilies and the garlic cloves, and you're gonna let them blacken a little bit on one side, and then you're gonna turn them upside down and do the same on the other side. And once all of that is done, you're gonna add them into the blender and blend it up. Now, if you don't want to roast them, you don't have to, but I promise they taste a lot better um, if they are roasted. I also forgot to mention salt, so just a teaspoon will do. I just poured enough to fill up like the little tiny cup that is at the middle of my palm when I bunch my hand up and that's really it for salsa it's super simple you can add any variation of chilies if you want you can keep cilantro out if you don't like it I know a lot of people think it tastes like soap um, so just feel free to really do whatever you want with your salsa And the reason I started off with my salsa is because I want it to cool down before I use it and I want to have it ready to top my sopas with at the end. It's kind of a pain having cold sopas while you make a fresh salsa, um, so I really recommend doing the salsa first if you do decide to make it. Otherwise you can always store by it, but you'd be surprised at how much better your own salsa is at home than any store-bought one in a plastic tub. And here is the cornmeal mix, it's called Maseca. I'm pretty sure there's probably other brands. This is just, I think, the most popular one. It's the one I tend to gravitate towards. And the recipe is on the back. It's kind of like making pancakes. There's a cornmeal to water ratio. Um, I did two cups of the cornmeal to one and a half cups of water. I actually ended up needing a little bit more than the one and a half recommended so I slowly added more water until the consistency was right for me. So when you're making this batter essentially, you want it to be thick and really really moist on the inside because if it's too dry then it kind of crumbles apart and your sopas will just fall apart when you try to heat them up or when you're even trying to eat them. So when you see towards the end of my mixing, um, a batter that is ready will start sticking to itself and you'll be able to wipe the sides of the bowl clean. And now comes the fun part. This is just the little patty making part. I am not using any specific technique. I just started off by rolling a ball and then flattening it between my palms. My mom and my grandma can obviously do the really cool thing where they pat the dough in between their hands really, really fast, which I don't think I'll ever be able to do. Hopefully, maybe someday when I'm older. Um, but what I'm doing is I made my patty it's probably a little less than half an inch thick because you want to be able to pinch the edges up 
to make a little border so that it holds all of your food in when you start to pile it on top. Once you've pinched all your edges and you've made your little disc with edges, you are going to go ahead and lay it flat side down first onto the warmer. You can also just use a plain flat pan. You don't need to add any oil to it. Some people do prefer to deep fry these. I'm trying to take a healthier route and just do them on my tortilla warmer. And while I wait for the patties to cook, I am going to go ahead and slice up my toppings. So I am vegetarian, so my base is gonna consist of refried beans, and then I'm gonna top it with a bunch of different veggies, and then sour cream, cheese, and salsa on top. If you are not vegetarian, you can either buy a rotisserie chicken or you can cook chicken breast and then shred it. That's what my mom tends to do for these dinner sopas. Um, and if you don't want meat, then you can just follow along with my toppings. And along with the meat sopas, um, you're essentially still using these toppings. You're just having a meat base. You can still keep the refried beans if you want but you will do the shredded chicken at the bottom and then you're gonna top it with the shredded onion, lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, sour cream, and salsa. Oh my goodness, and avocados too. Avocados are actually my favorite thing on earth. I could probably live off of them if I could only pick one food for the rest of my life. Um, right here I'm showing you my cheese. I actually went to my Mexican market and got fresh cheese. You can also just buy the Cotija brand or the El Mexicano brand um, that come in the plastic wrap. Um, they're just as good. I just like this specific type of cheese. It's called Los Altos and it's the type that my mom usually buys. So that's why I get that one. So now, five to I would say probably closer to seven minutes later, I check on the bottoms of my dough patties. They will have these slight um, charred marks. So once you see that, you can flip it over so that you can um, cook the top side for another three to four minutes. And once that is done, you will go ahead and put them on a plate so you can start building up your sopas. So here are my refried beans. I had been cooking my own beans. You can of course buy canned ones because I understand that cooking beans take a really long time. You can also buy canned beans and then make your own refried beans, which I think would probably taste even better than the already canned refried beans. But it's totally up to you. Whatever time you have available, um, is what's going to dictate you know what you're going to be able to do um, i like to do double cheese so i'm going to put cheese on top of my beans and then later on you'll see that i put cheese on top of everything else i'm going to pile on the lettuce that tends to kind of shift a lot so that my heavier toppings will keep it down in place because i promise it'll be a lot easier to eat it when the lettuce is being held down by the tomatoes and the sour cream and all that. Do not worry, they will be a mess regardless, but they are delicious. So I recommend having a fork on the side just in case all of your toppings tend to slide off like mine do. You can of course always use the non-dairy options the cornmeal is completely vegan, so whatever you put on top is completely up to you. And if you don't eat any meat or animal products, you can of course alter it to your diet. And you guys, that is completely it. I promise 
they are not as hard as they look to make. You can make extra patties to have them left over for the rest of your week. But I really, really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching.